This is a dumpyard in the outskirts of Mysuru, receiving much of the 400 ton domestic waste generated daily by the city's million inhabitants. Located in the South Indian state of Karnataka, Mysuru is also known as the city of palaces. But there's more to Mysuru than meets the eye. Beneath the glitter of its rich history, a silent revolution has been brewing here. Every morning, hundreds of powder karmikas or city workers spread out, clearing garbage from local households and the neighborhood. That Mysuru was recently declared India's cleanest city again is a conviction of their contributions. Yet, even among the good, there is the best. Kumbarakopal is the cleanest of the 65 wards that make up Mysuru. What sets it apart is a simple collaborative initiative on solid waste management. Brainchild of a local leader, Mr. Made Gowda, this initiative ensures not just efficient collection of waste, but also proper segregation for recycling. The core principle behind Kumbarakopal's waste management is community participation. Each household is asked to segregate its wet and dry waste for collection. To ensure this, a local women's self-help group, Sri Shakti, is roped in. Accompanying the powder karmikas, these ladies educate and encourage locals about waste segregation, cleanliness, health and habits, even as they monitor the collection process. It's by no means an easy task. Despite persistent efforts over years, people still need reminding. But their hard work does not go unrewarded. Pouring over the waste, the workers at Kumbarakopal Waste Management Plant carefully separate all organic matter to be composted and sold to farmers as fertilizers. Dry waste, including plastic, are segregated further and sold to recycling units. This is a very small work, as we, as you know. It is very simple also. I don't know why people uh, take this as a, a difficult task. Even the government, why this government feels, whether it's central government or the state government, this is not at all a big job. Only thing is, if they are really the representatives of the people, they take the cooperation from the people. Public participation is very important for this one. Through this simple manual process, Kumbarakopal sells 95% of the 5 ton household waste collected per day. Less than 5% is sent to landfills. In a stark contrast, over 85% of waste from other wards are dumped in landfills. Less than 15% recycled as compost, a government contractor revealed. Their machinery and the landfill sites are stretched to limits. How different would the situation be if Kumbarakopal was a rule rather than an exception? Nothing will go to sewage for what they call as a landfill site. Waste will not go there. All the transport money will be saved to the corporation. I don't know why this is not uh, being implemented uh, effectively in other words. They must know there is no waste. There is no waste. In Canada we say, kasa no illa, kasa no illa, kasa. That means everything is money. 